So over here, you can see that I have a frame and what I want to do is work around with layout column and rows. So in order to work around with layout column and rows, first of all, you need to go around, click on the frame and over here on the right side, we can see layout grid is an option. You add a grid right here. And over here, you can go around and then from grid option, you can change it to columns and this is what you have. So what happens is that you can go around, choose the number of colors, columns that you want. And here you can see that there's center column, there's right column, there's left column and so forth as you can see. But I'm just going to go around and stretch out the column right here. So you also can set out the gutter right here. So just like this, you have the spacing in between as well. So now what happens is that if I were to go around and bring in a shape, let's say for example, like this, a whole shift right here and keep it right here. So now I'm going to go around and then select out a color on this. I'm going to hold alt right here and click and drag this around. Select this, click and drag this around. And this is what I have. So if I were to click on frame, I can go around and resize this and you can see that it actually follows out the column right here. But right now you can see that they are more left aligned right here. So if I were to go on to shape, you can see that this is left top aligned. But if I were to click on center align right here, just like this, let me just center align both of these right here, center align this as well and center align this. What happens is that it'll base off this column as its uh, area of reference. And if I were to resize this, let's say, for example, if I were to go around into frame, resize this, then you can see that it is center aligned right here. Similarly, I can go around and I can click and drag this around over here as well. And I can bring in another uh, call my rows as well. So I'm going to go around over here onto frame. And if I were to click on plus right here, I can go around and change this out into rows right here. So in this case, I'm going to go for three rows just like this. And this is what I have. So if I were to go around right here, and uh, resize the frame, then this is what I have. You can see that rows and columns right here. As I stretch out, it balances out everything right here, just like this. If I were to go around and keep a line in between right here, then it'll take this uh, division area right here and it'll be centered out as you can see right here. So while you're designing apps and you want to make it responsive right here, then you can really utilize this feature inside of uh, Figma. And that is how you can work around with layout column and rows inside of a design file in Figma. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.